What do this self-balancing Segway and this DeWalt screwdriver have in common? Well, they both can kind of read your mind. Not exactly, but there's actually no buttons on this thing to tell it to go forward or reverse or to tell it how fast or slow to go. Just like on this DeWalt screwdriver, there's actually no buttons for forward or reverse and there's no trigger to tell it how fast to go. They both use what's called a gyroscope in order to handle both of those functions. Let's take a closer look here. Here I've got the gyroscopic screwdriver, and if I hold it still like this, it's ready to go. I push the button, nothing happens, but I can hear that the motors are spinning. So as soon as I start to turn clockwise, the screw goes clockwise. If I ease off and go flat again, nothing. And then I go back the other direction, counterclockwise, and there it goes. And the faster I turn, or the more I twist, the faster it spins. Now I'm going to drive it. There we go. So basically it just uses the movement of my wrist to do all the action. I had a lot of questions about how this would actually work in certain circumstances though. The small gyroscope in this thing is so sensitive and so accurate that it kind of does feel like magic, like it's reading your mind or at least reading your intentions. But the reason I bought this and the slightly newer version of this is not because I think it's magic, but because every single time I meet someone who has one of these, they just can't stop talking about how awesome it is. They swear it's the best screwdriver they've ever used and the only one they will ever use from there on out. In fact, let's take a look at some of these pretty impressive and pretty highly stated Amazon and Home Depot reviews. My only regret is that I waited so long to buy this. My favorite electric screwdriver ever. This one is especially good. This one says, once in a rare while, you run into something so wonderful, you're just blown away. This is one of those tools. It is the perfect balance between function, size, power, cost, and user interface. It is now my go-to screwdriver. I just look for things to use it on. So recently when I met yet another person who has one of these and was telling me how amazing it was, I said, that's it, I'm buying one of these things, I'm gonna try it out. And just to be clear, no sponsors in this, nothing in here is paid for in any way, shape, or form, so I just wanted to get my hands on one of these and see what it was like. The layout on this tool is really incredibly simple, there's not much to it. Here we have what's called the motion activation trigger, and when you squeeze it, the motor is on, you can hear it humming, but nothing engages. Like we saw before, whichever way you turn it, the quarter inch hex driver will go. More rotation equals faster spinning. The biggest question I had was whether or not this would work when you're upside down, diagonal, or backwards. And the answer is yes, it works perfectly in any of those situations. What happens is every time you hit this button, it basically resets to zero for the gyroscopes. So I can be holding it like this direction, nothing happens until I twist. I can be holding it this direction, opposite of that. Same thing. So it works in every orientation. Squeezing these two side buttons here allows you to turn this into a pistol grip. So you can use it like a traditional drill layout or squeeze them again, rotate it back, and you've got an inline driver again. This is particularly handy if you're doing installs in maybe some tight spots or you've got some narrow openings that you've got to work with. There are two LEDs in front to illuminate your work area and it features a 15 step clutch right here as well so that you have precision control over the torque. If you're not familiar with how the clutch system works on a drill, I've got a great video right up here explaining that as well as four other common features on cordless drills. And there's also a illustrated guide that I put together so that you can see a quick kind of cheat sheet of how each of those work. You can check that out using the links in the description below or you can click on the little shopping icon down in the lower left corner. Almost every drill and driver has a lock function, so if you put the forward reverse button right into the middle, then it locks the trigger and prevents it from moving anywhere. This one actually has the exact same feature. It's laid out a little bit different, but we've got this little switch right here. When you push that up, you can't squeeze the trigger and it won't waste any battery. Speaking of not wasting batteries, this one comes with a small little eight volt battery. This is totally rechargeable, and one of the downsides of this thing, in my opinion, is that this is kind of older tech. This particular battery takes about one hour to charge, which is a pretty long time for such a tiny little battery. I would think they could probably charge the thing in about 10 or 15 minutes. But you can buy this with one or two batteries. There's different kits available. And everything I've read and in my limited experience with this, it feels like this battery lasts an unusually long time given how small this thing is. I mean, you can kind of just keep going with this thing for hours and it just seems to go on and on. But that said, I'd still recommend getting two batteries if you can. So if one dies, you're not having to wait a full hour to replace it. 
Also, right here on the device itself, it's got a little fuel gauge to let you know exactly what your battery is at. So when I squeeze that button, it shows I got a full battery here and I'm good to go. One thing that kind of surprised me is how very popular this particular device is in certain groups, in professions and hobbies. So for example, a lot of electricians just love this thing because it's so convenient. Another profession that's big on this one is HVAC professionals. Doing some duct work is pretty simple with something like this because it can handle those self-tapping screws without issue. Professional assemblers love this. It works great for that. People who do installations, especially cabinet installs and things of that nature. And two groups that I didn't even think about. One is people who build RC cars or RC devices, as well as people who are building PCs. I've already found myself using this a ton, especially for things like electrical work, for maintaining my 3D printers and making sure everything's tight and assembling those as well. It was incredibly useful when my mom asked me to assemble this giant funky cat wheel that she bought. Assembly was quick and easy with this little gyro screwdriver. If you've been following my videos, you might know that I have a full on man crush for this little tool right here. I don't even know what that means. This is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Surge Driver. This is very small, it's compact, but I call it my fist full of steel because this thing just feels good in your hand. It's powerful and it has crazy amounts of power for such a small little guy. This is a surge driver, which means it's hydraulic inside instead of a traditional impact driver. It's about half as quiet or half as noisy, I guess, as one of the traditionals. So the question is, is this guy gonna replace my fistful of steel here? And the answer is no, it's a little bit different. If I've got lightweight stuff or medium weight stuff that I need to do with some assembly, for example, I'll probably grab this DeWalt. If it's getting to medium to heavy, I'm gonna grab my M12. And if I need something super heavy, I've also got the M18 surge driver here which is the most powerful of any of these. One thing to keep in mind with all three of these is that they're drivers. In two of the cases, they're impact drivers, and for the DeWalt, it's an electric screwdriver. These are not meant for drilling holes or doing any heavy duty work with drilling. They actually work pretty well in some cases, but generally speaking, they're meant to drive fasteners. That's what their job is. The DeWalt here actually has a max RPM or rotations per minute of 430. So it's not gonna go whipping fast and cut through steel or cut through even hardwoods, anything very well. It's just not meant to do that. So the question is, do you need one of these? And the answer is no, you really don't need this. This is really convenient, it's nice to have, but you can do the same kind of things with a regular screwdriver or with a drill. This one has some advantages like being able to go in line like this and get into those tight spots. And the fact is, People just love it because it's so convenient to use as far as the one-handed operation, not having to press any buttons, triggers, anything like that. You just kind of think about what you want and it does it. And again, it's a little bit like magic in that sense. You keep using the horde. I don't think it means what you think it means. And the gyroscopic is pretty awesome for exactly that reason. But it's a little bit of a luxury item. You don't really need them. Kind of like the old saying, once you go gyro, you never go back. What? That's not it? Price-wise, these go for around a hundred bucks, and that includes one battery. You can get a couple batteries for a little bit more. If you wanna go with one of the newer ones, this is pretty interesting. This is the DCF 680 that came out in 2013. The 681 came out in 2014, and then this, the DCF 682, came out in 2015. There's only a couple of differences between these. Number one is that the use of the quarter inch hex driver is a little bit different between these. The 80 and the 82 are pretty much the same. And then the other big difference is on the 81 and 82, the newer ones, they don't have the ability to rotate into the pistol grip like this. And they also don't have a clutch. I'm not sure why there's differences in those, but they are a little bit less expensive as a result of that. Now this is where I need your help. I can't find competition for these. I found these tools because people talk about them so much, but I don't see anything else out there that's quite like it. I don't see other gyroscopic, battery-operated electric screwdrivers. So if you know of some, I'd love for you to leave those in the comment section below so I can check those out and we can share and see. Now Black & Decker did make a version of this before DeWalt. It was in 2012 and theirs was actually really popular. It was 40 bucks, but they have since discontinued it and now it's crazy expensive on Amazon.com, for example, 180 bucks if I'm not mistaken. And even these DeWalts, you can't buy them at your local hardware store. You have to order them on Amazon or on Home Depot or other sites like that, and they'll get shipped to you. So if you do know of some other competitive products to this one, I'd love to hear about it because honestly, I've been using this one a ton and it is a lot of fun. I can definitely see why people fall in love with this thing. Now I get what all the hype is about because it's just so convenient and kind of fun to use with your various projects. If you wanna learn more about the different features on your different drills that a lot of people just don't know about. In fact, 82% of the people I polled didn't know all of these. You can check that video out right here. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.